Mr. President, uh, immigration enforcement is one of the federal government's most essential responsibilities. It's also one of the most debated, and rightly so. Those of us in this body need to ensure that federal immigration laws secure our borders uh, from criminal and terrorist threats and facilitate effective interior enforcement to keep citizens safe. At the same time, our laws must also promote a system of legal immigration that encourages economic growth and opportunity, especially in border communities like those in my home state of Arizona. But while we debate th these policies here in the Senate, uh, local police officers and sheriffs uh, around the country are, are serving on the front lines of immigration enforcement. These men and women put their lives on the line every time they go out on patrol. For them, immigration policy is not a hypothetical exercise. It's part of the day-to-day, -day, or day-to-day -day and day-in and day-out uh, reality of serving in law enforcement. And throughout the country, local officers increasingly find themselves coming in contact with individuals who, after being apprehended for the commission of a crime, are determined to be in the country illegally. This is especially common in border states like Arizona. Now, once it is determined that an individual in their custody is in the country illegally, that information is relayed to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. ICE can then send a request to local officials with instructions to hold that individual for up to 48 hours so that they can be transferred to federal custody. This is called a detainer request. The partnership between uh, law enforcement authorities at all levels of the government leverages vital information and resources in order to keep dangerous criminals off of the streets. And the federal government has no better partners in this effort than state and local law enforcement agencies from Arizona. But despite the critical role that these entities play in assisting their federal partners with immigration enforcement, Current federal policy leaves them exposed with the threat of costly litigation. That's because third-party groups that oppose detention have threatened local agencies that choose to comply with valid retainer requests. They are threatened with lawsuits. Now, using punitive legal action to punish law enforcement for good faith efforts uh, to keep people safe is simply wrong. We can have this policy debate without jeopardizing public safety and the ability of local law enforcement officers to do their job. And that's why I'm introducing the Support Local Law Enforcement Detainer Indemnity Act. This bill will require the Department of Homeland Security to protect state and local law enforcement entities from lawsuits that uphold valid detainer requests from ICE. Now, this is called indemnification and it would allow officers to fulfill their law enforcement responsibilities without second-guessing whether or not to keep potentially dangerous criminal aliens in custody. Mr. President, reforming our nation's immigration policies is no easy task. Let me tell you, it is slow, frustrating work here in the Senate. But as we continue the debate, local law enforcement shouldn't be left to shoulder the burden as a result of Washington's failure to secure our borders and implement a workable enforcement policy. I urge my colleagues to support this common sense legislation that will give state and local law enforcement the certainty of knowing that the federal government has their back. And I also want to thank uh, local sheriffs across the state of Arizona. Uh, who are really shouldering this burden and who came to me uh, with this issue. They want to keep their community safe. They want to do what's right. It pains them to have to release someone that they know is dangerous, but they can't expose themselves and their counties uh, to the litigation that would come uh, if, if uh, something like this legislation is not put in place. So this is a response to a very real problem out there. And I want to thank those like Sheriff Daniels of Cochise County and uh, Sheriff Masher of Yavapai County, Sheriff Clark of Navajo County, Sheriff Wilmot of Yuma County, many others who have been working on this issue and work on the front lines and do a lot of work that we're very very appreciative for in Arizona. 
And with that, Mr. President, I yield back the balance of my time and note the absence of a quorum.